Hello. In this session, we'll be talking about the API team and the skill sets that you should be looking for during the formation of your group. To get us started, let's take another look at the digital value chain. As you can see, APIs sit in the middle of the chain and bridges the gap between the backend systems and the app developers. Because the API team plays such a vital role in the chain, a certain skill set will be required by all those involved. So let's take a look at each role in the API team and the skill sets required. The roles that we'll be looking at include the API team leader, the API architect and developer, the API evangelist, and the extended team. The API team leader interacts with multiple levels in your organization. They're essentially the product owner if we were to think of this as a traditional scrum team. As such, they should have a product owner mentality and be able to make the tough call when needed when it comes to prioritizing the scope. The API team leader should also have a strong relationship with the business. Linking this back to the product owner mentality, the API team leader should understand the business vision, their priorities, and have the context required to understand the big picture in order to create a stronger user story for the team. The API team leader will need to know the capabilities of the API platform so that they can quickly assess the business use case and determine how to successfully deliver it as APIs. The API team should also be able to articulate high-level requirements and translate them to the core technical details needed by developers. Finally, the API team leaders should have good communication and listening skills. The leader will be interacting with various teams across the organization and should be able to clearly articulate the message depending on the target audience. Now let's talk about API architects and developers. These folks will be your technical muscle and will be the ones that make the ideas of the business into reality. Because the architects and developers will be translating business value into technical assets, they should be well-versed in best practices for API design and implementation. After all, the APIs is only as good as how it's been designed to work. The API architects and developers should be able to distill complex requirements and translate them to an implementation plan for development. On a similar note, they should also be familiar with the fundamental technical concepts for APIs such as REST, JSON and XML, HTTP verbs, and more. The architect and API developer should have an in-depth knowledge of the capabilities of the API platform. After all, APIs will be created in the platform itself. So in order to properly ensure a certain requirement can be implemented, an understanding of what the platform can do will be required. We recommend your API team operate in an iterative model like Agile. This allows the team to quickly adapt and adjust for sudden shifts in the business. Ideally, your API architects and developers will know how to operate in this model. Finally, the API architect and developer must have good communication and listening skills for the same reason we mentioned earlier. Now let's move on to the API evangelist. The evangelist plays a unique role since they are focused on promoting your APIs and the app developer community. Because of this, the evangelist should be passionate about APIs and the developer community as a whole. After all, how do they generate excitement if they weren't true believers themselves? Second, they must have a deep understanding of what API consumers need and what they need to be successful. Having this insight will allow them to communicate feedback back to the rest of the API team to ensure that the needs of your consumers are met. The Apigee Developer Portal should be one of the major tools you use to communicate APIs out to your app developers. As such, the evangelist should be familiar with the Developer Portal as well as the onboarding process for both developers and applications. Are you starting to notice a trend here? Yep, the evangelist will also need to have good communication and listening skills. Last but not least, let's talk about the extended team. The extended team covers multiple groups within your organization and are essential to getting your APIs live. We consider teams such as QA, operations, and security as part of the extended team. Because of these multiple groups, the extended team covers a wide variety of functional areas. Let's give a few examples of each. For a testing team, they should have familiarity with automated test case creation, the tools used for testing APIs, and also familiarity with the API platform. For ops, having a good understanding of things like TLS, firewall rules, and the various components that make up the API platform will be very beneficial to them. The security team should have a good understanding of the various types of authentication and security rules pertaining to your business. This includes concepts like TLS, OAuth, sensitive data masking, and more. Yep, you guessed it. The extended team should also have good communication and listening schools. 
This is a common trait across the entire API team. Given the tight coordination and interactions between the different roles, everyone should be able to not only clearly articulate their ideas, but also listen to the ideas of others. Well, that covers the skill sets we find important for an API team. In closing, let's reiterate that an API team has a diverse set of roles, and as such, a diverse set of perspectives to the approach of APIs. We need to see this as a positive thing, so be sure to nourish those perspectives, as they will lead to a better and more innovative API program. Thank you.